Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Tori. It's Tuesday, August 11th, 2020. And we begin with no pajama pants allowed. That's the rule for students in the capital of Illinois during their remote learning sessions. Also, no hats, bandanas, or sunglasses. Basically, the same dress code that's used in the classrooms of the Springfield School District will apply for remote learning as well. Also, students cannot be in their bed but need to be sitting up at a desk or table. District officials work with teachers, parents, and administrators to come up with the guidelines, which are only guidelines. Teachers will not punish kids who don't follow the rules, but the hope is that students will approach remote learning in the same way they would at school. This district starts its school year on August 31st with a hybrid program. Kids will attend classes two days a week in person and three days a week from home. The magic may be back at Disney World, but soon for fewer hours in the day. The Florida theme park is scaling back its operating hours, apparently due to lower-than-expected attendance. Disney reopened in July after being closed for four months with lots of safety rules in place like mandatory masks and temperature checks on arrival. Still, many people are staying away because of a big drop in long-distance traveling. So, starting in early September, Magic Kingdom, Animal Kingdom, Epcot, and Hollywood Studios will shave one to two hours off the time they're open to the public, with most either opening later, closing earlier, or both. During the early days of the pandemic, one of the biggest concerns at hospitals was they would run out of ventilators, the machines used to help really sick people breathe. And they aren't cheap, costing between $25,000 and $50,000. Now, a group of volunteer doctors and engineers has come up with an inexpensive way to make these machines that has been approved by the federal government. And one of the members of this group is a teenager who also happens to be the reigning Jeopardy teen tournament champion. 18-year-old Avi Gupta is a software engineer and says the original model was made in a volunteer's garage. The parts to put it together cost just $400 and the instructions will be free so the life-saving machines can be made and used anywhere in the world. There are lots of empty malls around the U.S., maybe one near where you live, because less people are going out to shop. But they may not be empty much longer. The company that's replaced a lot of in-person shopping could be moving in. Amazon, which has become the king of online shopping, is considering converting empty department stores into giant distribution centers. The Wall Street Journal was the first to report that Amazon is in talks with the nation's largest mall operator. Some analysts say the move makes sense since malls are near major population centers, putting Amazon very close to many of their customers' doorsteps. And these locations could also serve as a place for people to collect and return orders, adding more flexibility for shoppers. People aren't the only ones whose routines have been upended by COVID-19. It turns out that zoo animals also notice that things are different, and some seem to really miss their human visitors. So zookeepers are getting creative to keep up the animal spirits. Some staff members change their outfits several times each day or eat their lunch next to the animals' cages. One zookeeper in Australia even brought in a remote-controlled toy car, which seemed to fascinate the meerkats at the Adelaide Zoo. But other animals have been enjoying the peace and quiet. Alex, an orangutan at the Milwaukee County Zoo in Wisconsin, is wandering around her enclosure more and no longer plugs her ears, which she did when visitors ignored the nearby shh, quiet zone sign. That's it for Kid News. Now, the Kid News Quiz. What clothing is off-limits during remote learning for students in one Illinois school district? Pajama pants, hats, bandanas, and sunglasses. What change is coming to Disney World Parks next month? They will be open for fewer hours. How much does it cost to make a ventilator designed by volunteers, including an 18-year-old engineer? The parts cost just $400. 
What kept meerkats entertained at the Adelaide Zoo in Australia during the pandemic force shutdown? A remote controlled toy car. In one for the road. The cost of most face masks is pretty cheap. But now there's word that a jewelry company in Israel has been hired by an unidentified businessman to make the most expensive one in the world, designed with 18 karat white gold and covered with thousands of tiny diamonds. It will also be fitted with top rated N99 filters. The price tag, $1.5 million, but weighing in at over half a pound or 100 times the weight of a surgical mask, it probably won't be too comfortable to wear. Before we go, our Kid News birthday shout-outs go to Zoe in Salt Lake City, Utah, Charlotte in Parkville, Missouri, in New York, Elias in New York City, and Viana in Glenville, Teddy in Menlo Park, California, and Daniel in Seattle, Washington. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to rate and review us wherever you get your podcasts, and we might use your comments in an upcoming email. We hope you tune in again for more Kid News tomorrow morning.